did the Democrats use Russian disinformation that made its way into the Steele dossier that the FBI used to spy on Trump? Is that it, plausible? It appears that way. I mean, look, we're going to have to defer to uh, uh, Special Counsel Durham to make that determination ultimately, but it appears that way, and it looks like one of the things that I've observed in my time here in Washington is that if the Democrats are accusing Republicans of doing something, generally speaking, that means they're doing it themselves. And so as they were accusing the Trump campaign and Trump himself of Russia collusion, it appears that they, in fact, were the ones colluding with Russians and feeding information uh, to the FBI through steel. And that means that the law firm that he was associated with uh, and others uh, are probably going to need to find a, a pretty good lawyer at this point. Yeah, this is... Well, Steele had already been discredited beforehand, and so he should never have been a credible so a source of information. I think ultimately you're going to see more indictments coming from Durham, and this will be interesting, but it's a long way from over. ...of his indictment is he links people within the Obama administration and the Hillary Clinton campaign and Hillary Clinton herself, and, and all of this is tying together now, and so the whole web of uh, their deceit is unraveling. There are going to be more indictments. John Durham's very methodical, very deliberate. He's working his way up the ladder. Uh, I think you're going to start seeing people within the FBI finally, uh, you know, being under the microscope. And, and everything that Danchenko did in terms of providing false information uh, that was then used by Chris Steele to get the FISA warrants and other issues, now it's all being revealed. And I'm just happy that the truth is coming out. I want the American people to see everything that's, that's happened how the United States government weaponized the law against a candidate and then sitting president for four years, and obviously it dominated you know, President Trump's administration. And the American people deserve to know what happened, why people inside government did this, and let the, let the truth be out. Let there be transparency. So don't mess with me.